Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we'll look at the United Nations, Indonesia, some mainstream media from the United States, from Fox News, its contrails, not chemtrails. There'll also be a geoengineering risk assessment, news from the United Arab Emirates, Paraguay and Australia. We'll start with the United Nations article Climate change expert calls for United Nations watchdog to monitor weather modifying methods. Long-standing convention could be updated to prevent one country's weather altering plans if they are detrimental to another nation. There in the image we can see no doubt silver iodide rockets being prepped for launching. As usual we are told that more than 50 nations are using various modifying techniques to adapt their own weather. That's according to the World Meteorological Organization. So the former climate advisor to the United Nations Secretary General said techniques to adapt weather should be brought under a long ratified United Nations Convention. She wants to see the Convention on the Prohibition of Military or Any Other Hostile Use of Environmental <laughs> Modification Techniques or NMOD modified to help accommodate new technology. NMOD could also be used to prevent one country's weather plan if it was detrimental to a second nation. In the face of climate change, countries need first and foremost to reduce emissions and support climate adaption. So if we take a quick look at the United Nations Convention on the Prohibition of military or any other hostile use of environmental modification techniques. So around 40 years ago, we can see from the history, in July 1974, the USA and the former Soviet Union, the USSR, agreed to hold bilateral discussions on measures to overcome the danger of the use of environmental modification techniques for military purposes and there were three subsequent rounds of discussions in 1974 and 75. In August 1975, USA and USSR tabled identical draft texts of a convention at the Conference of the Committee on Disarmament, where intensive negotiations resulted in a modified text and understandings regarding four articles of this convention in 1976. The convention was approved by the General Assembly of the United Nations on the 10th of December 1976. It's so quite a big issue that was sorted out in 1976 between the USA and the former Soviet Union which kind of says they are able to settle their differences, aren't they? If they really need to. Moon radiation management. Many of you have seen this before. We're all familiar with solar radiation management, daytime spraying. Many people have seen the, the moon being sprayed out as well. I know I have on many occasions. This video from Indonesia obviously gets a context board. Tell us all what a contrail is. So, contrails. Over to Fox 7 News. White trails behind airplanes are contrails, not chemtrails. But maybe they're chemtrails, really. So there's a video with this that um, I'll show you some screenshots from it. But you might want to go and have a look. There's links, as always, in the information section of this video to everything shown. But yeah, you might want to go and have a look at this uh, video. Here's one of the screenshots. You can almost see the airplane there at the front, can't you? There's another one. Ah, oh, you can see the aeroplane there. Just. Not much you can say about that, is there? But it's not chemtrails. As far as Fox is concerned, that's a contrail. Okay. That's not even solar radiation management. That's a chemtrail. Proper chemtrail. Over to physics.org. Trying to cool the earth by dimming sunlight could be worse than global warming. You remember recently a group of 60 scientists called for a moratorium on solar geoengineering last month, including technologies such as stratospheric aerosol injection. SAI might make the sky slightly whiter, but this is the least of our concerns. SAI could pose grave dangers, potentially worse than the warming it seeks to remedy. 
to understand the risks, they've undertaken a risk assessment of this controversial technology. There's quite a long article, if you choose to go and read it. Every negative scenario you can think of is pretty much listed there. So, too much to go into. Over to the United Arab Emirates and their weather modification. Ongoing. The Weather Bureau conducted cloud seeding operations to maximise rainfall in the country after monitoring convective clouds over some coastal regions of Abu Dhabi. Paraguay. See you there. Anti-vaxxers head to a new life in a remote colony in Paraguay founded by conservative free thinkers who want to escape the matrix, say reports. The community claims it is free from chemtrails. Don't all arrive at once. Hey, plenty of things going on in Australia at the moment. Sounds absolutely nightmarish. Always a good time to remind people of Australia's weather modification program via Snowy Hydro. You can find plenty of years, some of their years of reporting on their website, including the 2020 operations report published in November 2021. Seems like things have gone absolutely out of season, in season, chaos as far as the weather is concerned in Australia now, or that area of Australia anyway, especially surrounding the target area for their programme. But if you need convincing that Australia has a weather modification programme in place, please go and have a look at that information. And it will confirm to you that they are doing it during the climate crisis. Speaking of the climate crisis, in France, tens of thousands march for the climate. Here's the image that accompanies the report. And that's clear enough, isn't it? Look up. Just to finish on viewer questions, does Russia have a chemtrail program? The answer is yes. You probably can't access it anymore, but if you watch RT News that covers Russia, you often see chemtrails in the background of their reports. I've been seeing them since 2008 in their reports. So look after yourselves. See you next time. Thanks for watching.